Hello, my name is Jason Doval. I teach trumpet at the University of Kentucky in Lexington, Kentucky. And today I'd like to speak with you a little bit about tone color. When trumpet players talk about tone color, we use all sorts of terms like bright, dark, warm, rich, good, bad. And all of these terms have their place, but they're not very specific. I tell my students that most parts of trumpet playing have both subjective and objective components. And these terms are all very subjective. Today I'd like to speak with you a little bit about the objective aspects about trumpet tone production. Uh, specifically, I'd like to show you an application I just found you can get for your phone or tablet that can give you some more information uh, about these objective qualities of tone color. Um, this is through the Tonal Energy app, which I've known about for a long time, but I actually didn't get till last week. And the reason I got it uh, was because I discovered through a student it has this really cool feature that can show us some objective data about our tone color. So when you open Tonal Energy, it kind of looks like this. And uh, people use it, usually use this as a tuner. Um, we're not going to be using it today as a tuner. What I want you to do is click on this button right there and click on the word that says harmonic. And this takes us to a screen like this. Now I'm using a small phone. If you'll do a double finger tap on that, you can make that bigger. And now we're seeing the harmonic energy of any note that is played. Uh, so if I play, for example, um, low concert B flat, on the far left, the number one, that's the fundamental, um, the, the concert B flat. And 2 through 12, these are the overtones. These are the pitches that sound over the fundamental. Um, I don't have the time in the course of this short video to describe the overtone series. You can Google it, look it on Wikipedia if you'd like. Basically, any pitch that you play on the trumpet or any other instrument, um, not only do you hear that pitch, but you also hear pitches above that that we don't recognize as pitch, but they contribute to the instrument's tone color. Um, it's the re overtones are the reason that, say, trumpet sounds different from piano, which sounds different from clarinet, because they produce uh, different overtones. Um, what's really interesting is to use this app to compare the overtones of the same player on the same trumpet, but on different pitches. So allow me first to just simply play a two octave C scale uh, and look at what happens to the overtones. <laughs> So you notice the higher I play, the weaker the upper overtones, or the weaker the upper harmonics uh, become. Um, getting back to those subjective terms, bright and dark. Now again, different players and different teachers use all kinds of different words to describe tone, and um, two different teachers might use the word bright for to two totally different meanings. But for the purposes of this video, let's just assume that when someone says bright, they mean it has a lot of overtones. Uh, specifically uh, that it's rich in the upper overtones. And when someone says a sound is dark or warm, typically they mean it maybe has fewer overtones, or maybe what they mean is it has stronger lower overtones. What's interesting as I play is you actually saw the that the higher I played, the fewer overtones I have. In other words, the higher I played, the darker uh, my sound was. Um, let me make this a little bit more obvious by by using a screen capture feature. So if I play a low C and double tap, then I can then capture that and then play notes over top of that. So now watch the blue and watch as the higher I play, you're going to see that um, there are fewer and fewer, um, that the strength of the harmonics, especially the upper overtones, the upper harmonics, um, get weaker and weaker as I go higher. So it's pretty clear to see that the higher I play, the weaker the upper overtones become. And it's kind of strange that it seems like the lower notes are, quote, brighter, again, subjective term, uh, than the higher notes, which seem to be darker. I don't have a really good answer for that, but I do have a good conjecture based on a few articles I've read. 
Um, I've read some articles that suggest that the upper register of the trumpet happens to be in a particular frequency range that's very impactful and our human ears are very sensitive to. So perhaps because the human ears are so sensitive to these upper register frequencies that we perceive them as stronger or perhaps brighter. Again, uh, just a conjecture, um, perhaps good research for a future uh, master's or doctoral student thesis or dissertation. One other fun thing that you can do with this app is compare the same player uh, playing different instruments on the same pitch. So um, let me clear this out real fast and play a standard concert B-flat. So I'm saving me playing a sort of a third line C on a B-flat trumpet. Let me now play that same pitch on my flugelhorn. So right away, we're seeing the lower overtones are stronger and the upper overtones are weaker. And that would reinforce the common idea that a flugelhorn is warmer or darker uh, than a B-flat trumpet. It has lower overtones that are stronger, in fact, even a fundamental that's stronger, and upper overtones that are weaker. If I go to my cornet, similar to the flugelhorn, the lower overtones um, are stronger, the upper overtones are a bit weaker. Um, so one could argue objectively with the overtone or the harmonic energy content that perhaps a cornet is uh, warmer or darker than a trumpet. Um, I should note that I do play a V cup mouthpiece. Um, I don't think I have a regular cornet uh, or a, you know, a regular cup, trumpet kind of cup, cornet mouthpiece in the office right now, but um, pr I'm sure that if I use that, the overtones would probably be a little closer to the, um, uh, to the trumpet uh, harmonic energy. I've also found there are several really good pedagogical reasons to use this app. Again, I've only been using it about a, about a week, um, but one of the things that I've found is kind of fun to do, especially with younger students um, who are still developing their tone production, is to have me play something and to then take a picture of my um, um, harmonic energy and then have them play and compare theirs to mine. And in most cases, um, you'll see a lot less blue when they play, and they're, they're producing fewer upper overtones. Um, if you were to take this app into a middle school band room, um, you'd probably see even fewer uh, upper overtones as those students have not quite developed the richness. Um, see, there I go again using a subjective term. Um, he, developing the quantity of, of, of harmonic energy from, from the overtones. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, and the best way is via email, jason.dovel at uky.edu. Thank you so much. Have a great day.